Johnny Big K. Guess what we're going to talk about today? No, we're not going to talk about snakes. We're going to talk about shipping snakes. That's even better. I was talking to a guy I was going to ship some reptiles to just recently. And we got to talking about how some of the reptiles that show up at your door show up in substandard packaging. I mean, you can really tell the pros from the amateurs. So we're going to teach you to ship, and we're going to teach you how to look like a pro. When you ship something, they're going to know that it came from a quality breeder that really keeps tabs on his animals. We're going to make sure your shipment gets there on time and gets there safely in a safe package. So you stay tuned. First, we're going to start with the box. Okay, now first of all, you're going to want to ship in a quality package. I know some of you people out there think you can uh, ship in a box that Grandma's jelly jars came in or whatever. But that's always not the best way, especially when you're dealing with a live animal that you want to get there safe and you want him to still be alive when he arrives. So you get a, a, nice, star, a nice cardboard box, styrofoam lined. If you guys don't know what styrofoam line boxes are, you can get them at LLL Reptiles. You may be even able to find them somewhere cheaper. I buy them in bulk, so I just buy them there. And you're going to notice this box it says perishable, handle with care, and it's got the up arrows. So don't start on the wrong end of the box, folks. Now you're going to build this box. You're going to flip it over and start with the bottom. And what I like to do, I always like this seal to be out on mine. So I'll start folding my box. I'll fold it just like that so my seal's out. I ship everything FedEx. And with FedEx, they recommend two inches of tape. So I will slightly overlap my tape on the first run. Then I'll come back and I'll do the same thing on the next side and I'll overlap the exact opposite way. And I always smooth it in good, make sure it's on there good. And I also, you know, you're dealing with something you really don't want getting out of here. So I do an H pattern. I'll do it across first, then I'll come back and do the side. So I know nothing's getting out of my box. And that's foremost. If all goes bad and your reptile gets out of his bag or out of his container inside here, you still know he's not going to escape the box. So that's important. There's our box. Now we're started. Now all we need is some styrofoam inserts. With your styrofoam inserts, I like to start with the bottom. Push your bottom insert in, and then start with one side. And these drop in real easy, folks, because see that gap there? That's where your next piece will slide into. Just like that. And you're going to do this all the way around. And just keep it going. It's like a cute little puzzle. When you get your last one on, I always like to press them down good. Now you see my box is complete and I also have a lid for the top of it. That's a proper reptile shipping box. Now, you wouldn't want me to ship you across country without giving you air in your box, right? Well, it's the same for the snakes. They need air to breathe. So I like to poke two holes on each side of the box. And when I do mine, I do them <coughs> so they're not over any letters. That's a fine job right there. 
Phillips screwdriver works perfect for it. The reason I'm holding my hand inside the box is I don't want to damage the styrofoam. And see all that styrofoam in there? When I'm done with it, I wipe the excess. Make sure my holes are clear all the way through. And I'll dump it out. I don't want all that styrofoam in there. I guess it's not hurting anything. It's just a particular thing that I do. So there's your box. Now you're ready to ship. All we need is a reptile to put in it. Okay, so we got our box. We're ready for our snake to be shipped. Now you want to package this snake so he don't get out of his package. And uh, this is a nice little yellow tail. It'll be shipped off. And what I do is I get these deli containers. If you got a food service store near you, these deli containers are simple. And uh, I'll take this paper out of here. I just burn holes right in them with a soldering iron. Very simple. Not tough. I always put paper in the bottom. So if the snake goes to the bathroom, no harm, no foul. Stays dry. Put one side of the deli container shut. Let Mr. Snake get in there. Whoops. You don't want him in there, do you? Oh, don't give me a hard time today. And this is what we always go through. Never simple. But eventually, he will all go in there. Make sure the tail's in good. There you have a nice packaged snake. He's going nowhere. But. If I could survive to live one more time, I would. Change anything else.